Hey guys, I would like to share with you a particular comment that was shared to me in my YouTube channel. So this guy on YouTube, his name is Waterbug, he explained to me his experience in talking to um, Filipina in the Philippines. And I guess by talking to this Filipina, he realizes that we Filipinos often have trouble or problems with money and sometimes land or house and lot or with our family. And he explains why we Filipinos often let our relatives abuse us or manipulate us. And why we are choosing to send money to our relatives back home even though they are already abusing us. So let me read to you what he says. So he says, I was chatting online with Filipinas over 35. All of them were having family problems. This were all hardworking women and they were sick of supporting lazy family members. One Filipina was an OFW earning good income and she sent money to her parents partly to buy land for her and have a simple house belt for her to live when she come back to the Philippines. When she returned, she found her aunt had taken her land and her house, but that wasn't the worst part. She expected her parents to defend her right to the land and house, but her parents backed the aunt. The Filipina was extremely depressed about that. Westerners use the term family, but that's incorrect. It's a clan structure. Members are related mostly, but not always. There is a hierarchy. In the West, we would consider a family to be where everyone is kind of equal. In the Philippines, there is a hierarchy much more like the mafia. Good earners have high status with the smartest and most aggressive being the clan leader. So if a clan member needs money for something, they go to the clan leader who may agree, but require something in return. I child has to become a child has to become a housekeeper for the leader for someone else the leader owes a favor or land or house has to be signed over to the leader or the title is rare the title or is rarely actually transferred because Filipinos see clan law and civil law as two separate things the way the leader gets paid back is via rent payment for the land house that was signed over the system works over well because the smartest person becomes the de facto leader by being the person clan members go to. So the smartest member is controlling resources and decision and everyone does better. Clan structure has been used by humans for 1,000 of years and it's still common in all developing areas. The Western concept of family is a very recent invention as the state as has assumed the clan leader rule so i'm giving giving money to clan members is okay as long as you're getting something back in return need money for food okay what do i get your phone or maybe just help them get a better job that if they refuse then that that's refusing my help and we're done be a leader or an atm your choice so yeah he does have a good point and that's the reason why a lot of filipinos would disagree with me by me saying that we should break the status quo of toxic filipino mentality and this kind of tactic has been used for over 1000 years ago so that is a hard thing to break for especially for us many filipinos and not only us filipinos there are many other countries out there who have the same or similar situation with the philippines or filipino people and a lot of people here would say oh yeah it's the same thing in vietnam or um africa or mexic mexico and a lot of places not just um these countries and it's also the reason why in the western world is more developed because the people in the western world has different mentality whereas people in a certain country's family is very very strong sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad and of course it makes sense why western world is considered western world because they are more developed because of their mentality and i'm not saying that they're better i'm just saying that they're different and i'm hoping that we could somehow follow their step of what they're doing in order for us filipinos to improve our countries in the philippines especially helping our our people in the philippines how to develop their brain and the reason why we are not able to develop our brain properly is because we are so conditioned of following a toxic culture that don't even benefits our life. In fact, it's just creating a lot of problems. And this is why we need to break it.